Hey guys, Red Pen Money here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, okay, I have been sent this S19K Pro Slim. This is from plebsource.com. Thanks to them. This is essentially a modified S19K Pro. Okay, a bit main and minor S19K Pro. As you guys can see here, the form factor, it's missing the power supply usually on the side here. So yeah, this is an S19K Pro, but called a slim. And the benefit of this unit mainly is for those that are home miners, as the hash rate that this can achieve is about 20 terahash, give or take, at about 550 watts. Uh, there are apparently different power modes and go up to 850 watts to achieve more you know, hash rate of this thing, as the firmware that's on here is actually running Lux OS, all right? Lux OS, you can actually do a bunch of different presets. So that gives you the ability to change the different power modes, essentially. But yeah, the slim model, this is cool. So modified version, essentially. And you can see here, it's got ethernet. It's got, yeah, it's got the indicator lights here. This is essentially the control board on the side here. And this is where the hash board is. This is, a, from what I understand, looks like a single S19K Pro hash board on the side here, okay? And yeah, just judging by, you guys probably can't see inside there, but this is a 3D printed, you know, 3D printed backside here as well as the top, okay? And apparently, uh, you can add Wi-Fi to this if you bought the Vonnets uh, Wi-Fi adapter off of Amazon. It's like a USB powered, I think, to Ethernet, and you can actually put that adapter and hide it up at the top here so that makes it even more of a you know home miner for those that want to run it at home and uh, you know in, in this video I'm gonna turn it on obviously and we're also gonna I'm curious about the fan noise of this if this is you know considered like a home miner because it can run and power on 120 volt okay 120 volt power right that's the that's pretty much the whole thing regarding this unit itself and oh I just noticed looks like we got a knock to a fan right there yeah you see that there's a knock to a fan right here that's pretty cool but anyways yeah 120 volt power and so this could be essentially used as of course a heater right and so winter's coming I will definitely try this as a heater but in this video we'll also test out the uh, the fan uh, I guess the decibel rating of this so pretty cool plug source thank you again for this if you guys are interested in one of these uh, check them out link down below but before I keep going I just want to mention you all know plubsource.com they're actually wanting to do a giveaway of a bid axe okay so just all you guys got to do comment down below your guys's thoughts of the s19k pro slim if you think it's cool or not or any reservations regarding it or anything let me know down below okay and uh, I will choose the winner after 24 hours for a Bidax Gamma, all right? They will ship this out to you. They are out in Texas. So good luck and uh, thank you to plebsource.com. All right, but just, yeah, looking around this, this is it's pretty interesting to look at the form factor. Uh, the first thing I thought was, where is the power supply, right? The, normally there's like a, you know, power supply here on the side of an S19K Pro or S19J Pro. And uh, actually the, so the power supply is inside uh, internally down there, but the shell, is from an S19K Pro. And actually we can verify that by looking at the sticker here. It says S19K Pro model. Okay, so this is, uh, says it runs on 200 to 240 volt, which uh, nope, this is a different power supply that it can essentially run on uh, 120 volt. Okay, so that sticker, uh, at least it shows S19K Pro. So the shell, uh, the casing is an S19K Pro, but then there are some 3D printed parts on this. Okay, so anyways, let's uh, let's plug this in. Let's get this thing going. I'm curious uh, to hear the fan speed. So I don't see any big boy fans on the back. There is just one of these smaller Noctua fans here. I guess that's for the power supply, but there are two 120 mil fans on the front here. And again, another 3D printed uh, casing here for the front to hold the fans. So let's, uh, let's plug it in. And actually, before I turn it on, I just wanted to show here, Plub Source already did test out this unit. So it says here, Red Panda Mining Unit, S19K Slim K Pro, tested back in, uh, I think, July 9th to July 11th at 90 Fahrenheit ambient. Best presets preloaded on Lux OS. Best ranges, says 12.1 to 12.5 volt, 450 to 550 megahertz. So apparently that's the best, like, around preset numbers. Okay, so let's turn this on. 
and I'm plugging this on 120 volt. We can also tell the power at the 120 volt meter box meter there. Okay, so let's plug in the power and this should turn on right away. Yeah, and I feel air, a lot of air coming out here. It's, it's actually not, it's not that bad. Startup, it did sound like a lot of air, but 60 decibels is pretty quiet actually. Uh, of course we just started. Yeah, it's not 59 decibels. It's not, it's not loud at the moment. Okay, so let me go, let's check out the web GUI. Let's go in the computer and check out the web GUI of the S19K Pro Slim. How about that? Bitcoin 116,000 as of recording. It just hit up a bit of a high this past week. That's pretty good from 110. All right, anyways, it's not about Bitcoin's price. All right, guys, so I'm connected to the S19K Pro Slim here. Uh, you can see here though in the Luxor firmware, man this is really cool, I haven't seen Luxor's firmware for a bit here, uh, Antminer S19K Pro, but it's a S19K Slim, but it's the same hardware essentially just without I guess two more hash boards as we can see board not detected, board not detected, we just got one board. So it's actually been auto tuning, it's uh, kind of just been gradually going up in the hash rate here over the just the past seven minutes. So it is still going up. Right now I see we're at 560 watts at the wall. Uh, it shows here uh, the hash rate says 16.8. So we're just going to let this go. But I just want to show you guys here. The fan speed is currently at 20%. So that's actually very, it's very low. And it's pretty quiet to be honest. It's actually very quiet. So this could actually be a great, you know, heater upstairs or somewhere in your living room or bedroom. It's really not that loud. So if it does run at this fan speed, it's actually pretty quiet. And uh, this would probably make like for a good heater in someone's like maybe garage as well. Anyway, now, okay, I want to show you guys here the preset profile. So looks like it's on a custom one and there are many different voltage settings and hash rate uh, megahertz settings here as you guys can see. But the one that PlebSource has put this one on because they do test it as you guys saw on the paper there for two days. It looks like it's at 103 terahash, 12.2 uh, volt, 500 megahertz. So this is a custom one. So that means that they definitely added a custom uh, profile here. Um, they're not using the base default ones by the looks of it. This is a definitely a custom one that they've tested to go along, I guess, with the fan speed as well. So this is cool. I'm, I'm not going to touch it. Whatever they, what, you know, whatever they tested it at, it seems like it's, it's going to be uh, solid. So Going down here, the temperatures, uh, looks like they've also, I'm guessing they tested uh, changed, changing the target temperature, hot temperature, dangerous temperature, because now that we've got one single board, one single hash board, it's probably going to uh, change the thermal dynamics in a sense. So you can see the fan speed uh, has been changed as well there. Okay, now go to pools. I am solo mining to ckpool.org. Let's see if it shows up here. As you guys can see, I have a bunch of other uh, solo Bitcoin miners attached to here as well. But let's see. Uh, basically, I have called this one. Oh, I forgot to give it a worker name. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, I got to add a new pool here. I got to do this all uh, again. This is the part I always forget. S19K Pro Slim. All right, I'm just going to do that. Password X, save pool. Okay, I'm going to delete the first one here, delete, and it should already automatically uh, show up. Okay, so I'm going to let that go for a little bit. That should show up on the pool. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it uh, update on the pool level here after about seven minutes, eight minutes now runtime. Anyways, I'm going to let that go. There's a log portion here as well. Luxor's uh, firmware is pretty cool. AM Logic uh, control board. Anyone's interested settings as well. I can change, uh, you know, network settings, firmware updates, etc. Okay, so that's all well and good. Looks like we're getting 26.6 terahash. Okay, now the power consumption's at almost 700 watts. Okay, so 700 watts at 26 terahash. So how efficient is this? Okay, for anyone that cares about efficiency, I think we should hash rate and also the power consumption that a lot of these miners can achieve you know, it's it's very low power, right? These things are very low power and basically, you know, achieving such a low hash rate and power consumption on these things that 
if you are considering the efficiency under, I'm going to say under like a thousand watts or maybe under 500 watts, efficiency truly doesn't really matter on these home style miners because, you know, 100 watts, you know, 90 watts, 60 watts. We're talking pennies in terms of, you know, electrical, depending on your electrical uh, price, of course, your cost per kilowatt hour. We're talking pennies when it comes to these smaller, you know, home miners. Where, where it really truly matters is if you are running these things um, at scale, okay? Like the bigger, you know, Bitcoin miners that have are running, you know, over 3,000, 4,000 watts. That's where the efficiency matters, especially if you're mining at scale, okay? I'm not saying efficiency doesn't matter with these smaller miners, you know, for anyone that has free power or solar, efficiency doesn't matter, essentially. For anyone that, you know, has higher cost per kilowatt hour, you know, and you're, you're maybe you're really cognizant of your electrical bill, you don't really don't want to pay too much, then sure, right? Efficiency does matter. But for most people that are maybe wanting to run just one of these types of miners, um, which there are a bunch of these types of miners out there, you know, running a couple hundred watt miner or maybe even a 700, I'm running mine, this one's at 696 watts right now. Sure, that's a bit high. That's, a, I mean, in terms of power consumption, but the hash rate that you're achieving on this thing Okay, so we're looking at the efficiency now, 26.42 watt per hash. So that pretty much stacks up against, yeah, LV07, Bitax Supra. So it's not the most efficient miner here, but it's it's quiet actually as a 120 volt miner as I'm, as I'm hearing it. Now, if I were to compare it to the big boy miners, uh, 26 would be, yeah, S19K Pro. This is essentially an S19K Pro efficiency. Yeah, yeah. But when you're looking at it at a home level, I guess efficiency, in my opinion, doesn't matter. You, you guys let me know if what I said there makes sense or not. Or, you know, again, depending on your electrical costs, you know, from running like a under a thousand watt miner efficiency really doesn't matter at that point, especially if it's like 14, 25, 90 watts doesn't matter. Sure, maybe 800, 700 watts plus then it matters. But again, if you're mining it at scale, you know, with 3,500, 4,000 watt miners, then efficiency definitely does matter at that point because, uh, yeah, efficiency, as everyone understands, as you're, you know, you're spending thousands upon thousands of dollars on your electrical bill and depending on your profitability of mining Bitcoin, it, it does matter at that point at a, at a much larger scale. But a smaller scale, I don't think it's, it's that big of a deal. But yes, this is your own prerogative for anyone that's interested in buying these uh, types of miners. They do have them at $750. So that would be a 37.5 watt per hash. Okay, so if I were to do that comparison uh, for anyone that cares, just to see, that would pretty much be pretty much on par with the Avalon Mini 3 uh, in terms of its uh, dollar per hash or Magic Miner around there. Okay, so S19 K Pro Slim. Okay, so yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on that. Okay, I just wanted to show here, the S19 K Pro Slim does show up on ckpool.org. We are getting roughly about 26 terahash. Uh, power consumption in the web GUI shows 580 watts, but the true power at the wall here is 697. You know what, let me show you outside here. Okay, so let me show you here. Okay, so the power consumption is I'm getting 697 at about 26 to 27 terahash. Okay, so it's mining successfully. I do feel decent amount of heat. It's a it's a pretty good heater. Yeah, at 700 watts, this is definitely this would make uh, definitely a good heater. Now, people are gonna say, Red Panda, how loud is it? Well, it's really not that bad at all. It's really it's really not that bad. 65 decibels. Two feet away. 60 decibels. Couple feet away. We're probably hearing my other stuff now, but... 60 decibels? It, it's not... Like, you can hear it in my voice, and you can probably hear it on my mic, too. It's, it's really not that bad. It's not loud at all, actually. So this actually would make... Would be just fine as a heater upstairs. I love it. I, I actually love this. Plebsource.com. Thank you guys so much for saying this to me. I think this is really cool. I think the innovation here of converting an S19K Pro uh, from, you know, big boy 120 
you know, terahash down to a much, you know, a little bit smaller form factor because the power supply is gone now. But just the ability to run this at home in a sense as a, you know, home heater, essentially. I love it. I, I think this is great. This is actually great for what it is. All right, guys, let me know your guys' thoughts. Again, don't forget to comment. Give me your opinions about this unit, and I will choose a winner for the BidX Gamma from PlebSource.com. Thanks to them. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out. Ooh, I can see the, yeah, I can see the hash board right there. Control board. Hash board right here.